Hi, it's Tom Gregory here and welcome to this video about Prometheus, where you'll discover how to set it up, how to point it to your Spring Boot application and how to query it. This is part two of the series about monitoring a Spring Boot application. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out part one to get an overview of the full monitoring solution we'll be building. As part of the monitoring solution, you'll need a service to pull metrics from your applications, to store the metrics and provide an easy way to query them. Prometheus is a tool that allows you to do all three. So let's get right into it. Prometheus polls a set of configured targets to intermittently fetch their metric values. In Prometheus terminology, this polling is called scraping. It can be configured to scrape metrics from however many applications you like. Once Prometheus has fetched the data, it stores and indexes it in such a way that we can query it in meaningful ways. An application must expose metrics for Prometheus in a specific format. In Spring Boot, this happens somewhat automatically for us when you follow the steps outlined in the previous video. The endpoint exposed for Prometheus to scrape in Spring Boot is slash actuator slash Prometheus. Here is an example metric which follows the format of metric name followed by a number of labels. HTTP server requests seconds count is a metric to hold the count of how many HTTP requests have been made to an application. Exception, method, outcome, status and URI are labels. Labels are a way to group similar metrics together under the same name. Once a metric, such as the one we've just seen, has been ingested into Prometheus, we're able to query it. In its basic form, the query syntax looks very similar to the metric syntax. For example, to get all values of the HTTP server requests seconds count metric, I can run this query, which will return us this data including a metric for the slash do it request discussed earlier, a metric for the slash actuator slash Prometheus request, which is when Prometheus is scraping metrics from the application, and a request to favicon.ico, which Chrome requests by default. We can run a more specific query by adding labels. For example, this query only returns us the single metric associated with the slash do it request. Prometheus provides us functions to run more elaborate queries. Here's an example of the rate function, which calculates the per second rate averaged out over a set time period. The 5M specified here is what's called a range vector selector. We're basically telling Prometheus to use metrics from the last five minutes only for our rate calculation. Another useful function is sum. If we were only interested in the rate of requests overall and not specifically for the slash do it URI, we could run a query like this. The sum function adds up all the different rate results. Now you know a bit more about Prometheus, let's get it running and scraping metrics from a Spring Boot application. If you want to follow along with this, you'll need Docker installed, which you can do by visiting docker.com. We're going to use Docker Compose here, as this is a really easy way to get multiple Docker containers up and running and talking with each other. We'll use two Docker images, TK Gregory slash sample metrics application, which is a sample Spring Boot application exposing metrics on the standard slash actuator slash metrics path. And prom slash Prometheus, which is the official Prometheus Docker image. First of all, let's get the sample metrics application up and running. I'll create a file called docker-compose.yaml containing this configuration. This specifies that we want a container called application using the sample metrics application image exposed on port 8080. We can bring this up now using docker compose up. 
hit localhost 8080 slash actuator slash Prometheus and we can see all the metrics exposed by the application. We can also hit localhost 8080 slash do it a few times to get the HTTP server request seconds count metric going up and up. Now let's get Prometheus running to scrape the application. Let's create a file prometheus.yaml in the same directory as docker-compose.yaml. This file will contain the configuration for Prometheus, specifically something called scrape configs, which tells Prometheus where it should scrape the metrics from. Prometheus will be polling the application for its metrics on slash actuator slash Prometheus. Note that by default, Docker makes the container name available as a host name to allow communication between containers. This is why the host name is application. That's all for the Prometheus configuration, so let's edit the Docker Compose file to add Prometheus. Here we're configuring a Prometheus container on port 9090 and mounting the local Prometheus.yaml configuration file inside the container at the default location expected by Prometheus. We can run Docker Compose up again to also bring up Prometheus. We are now able to browse to localhost 9090 to access Prometheus. Let's try executing some queries. I'll try the following query to see the rate of HTTP requests in the last five minutes for each request URI. I just need to hit the blue execute button. We can see that the slash do it has a rate of zero. We can hit the slash do it API a few times, then run the query again to see the updated value. Note that Prometheus is scraping by default every 15 seconds, so the value won't update instantly. If we click on the graph link, we'll see the data in a visual format. This shows you the result of your query historically over the selected time period. This is a useful way to visualize data but doesn't provide the full dashboard functionality we'll explore in a future video about Grafana. Now seen how Prometheus gathers metrics and is the central place where they're stored. It has an easy way to run queries against these metrics and even see the output in graphical format. If you enjoyed this video, Please hit the like button, be sure to subscribe to see next week's follow-up video where you'll learn all about alerting. If you want to know when something goes wrong with your application without having to constantly check your metrics, then next week's video is for you. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time on Tom Gregory Tech.